Kia ora, I'm Rangi Ora, and when I'm out creating, I go by the name of Pride's Directs. I love a good story, and sharing experiences is what I'm passionate about. New Zealand is currently on lockdown as a result of the COVID-19 global pandemic, and everyone has been advised to self-isolate for at least four weeks. A lot is going on, and as times seem a bit weird, there are opportunities to spread positivity and remind everyone we are all in this together. This series isn't about the virus, but about checking in with Wano and friends who work in a variety of spaces and share stories of our people by our people. This is Checking In. Kia ora, Uncle. Check, how are you? You yeah, good? Good, good, good. Can you let everyone know at home, like, a little introduction as to who you are and where you are in the country, and who are you self-isolating with? Uh, my name's Ross Petey, and I'm in Wanganui, and I'm isolating with my wife, my daughter, granddaughter, son-in-law, and I've got a 10-year-old niece who's living with us at the moment. Not one Still a way to get home. They're in PG at the moment trying to get home. For everyone at home, like, can you uh, let everyone know like, what do you do for mahi? Uh, I'm a truck driver. I spend well, five nights away from home most of the time. And yeah, read Monday, get home either Saturday or Friday night, right? Yeah, but, like, what is a usual day of mahi for you? So what what do you carry in your truck? Uh, mostly Fontina product, cheese, butter, Milk powder, that kind of thing, and packaging for them. How, how's Mahi going anyway? And like, how's it on the roads? Must be open as. Roads are beautiful at the moment. Hardly any traffic, which is good. Makes our job easier. And, but yeah, yeah, it's really busy. Real busy? There's trucks on the road too, so we sort of got to pick up the slack. So, like, he's working more, or like, is it making it easier for you? Yeah, it is. Well, it's making it easy in us, but yeah, it's yeah. Just, just flat out at the moment because people are buying more, more groceries, more milk, more butter, more cheese, whatever they like, so it means we've got to move more. What's your line? Like, where are you driving up to and coming back? Typical day to start in Hawara and then head up, well, go to Tauranga, drop a load off there, pick one up, take it, take it to Auckland, drop a load there, pick one up. Go down to Hamilton, and then that's usually my day by then. And like, spend the night out in the yard in Hamilton. Are you sleeping in like, usually like a motel or something, or do you just sleep in your truck? I uh, sleep in my truck. Yeah, because like nothing's open, obviously. <laughs> but what about like food? Do you have to take more like home cooking with you now? They like restaurants and stuff are closed? Yep, yep. Well, I do. Your cousin, she um, freezes me meals during the week. And I, and I just, because I bought me a fridge and then I put it all on that. And usually lasts me the whole week. Does it? But every now and then, every now and then you feel like a pie, so you try and get one from a garage. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you still get pies from garages? Or? Uh, some, some do supply pies. Not many though. But hopefully once the, um, our level goes down to the street, it'll be a lot easier. Do you have a whole week of food in there? Like, is it like packed? For each day, or was it just like a bit of everything? Back for each day, and just your snacks. The hardest thing was when we first started was trying to get, get to go to a toilet anyway. Yeah, so tell us about that. Yeah, yeah, well, I went to, I think it was a week after the close down, I tried to get to a toilet at a BP. I won't say what's BP, but yeah, and they refused me. So yeah, well, let's have to just go on the side of the road somewhere because all the Public toilets were closed too. Well, what was the reason for refusing? Like, they couldn't let truckies at least go in? Uh, I don't know, but yeah, I think that was just part of their trying to keep safe. Yeah, hard. Which is fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what other challenges have you kind of come up? Mainly, like, places where we go to now, um, we're not allowed to use their facilities either. But they do let us use their toilets, but you know, now we stopped the smoke We used to go into the smoke room to their smoke but uh, not anymore. So, 
Yeah, we don't know, mate, because we're used to it now. It's been like three weeks now, so yeah. Like, you used to have a yard and stuff with these? Oh, yeah, we've got one in Hamilton, and New Plymouth, Palmerston North, and here along the route. Wow, and like, are you excited to use those, at least? Yep, yep, we use them. Yeah, and that's why we always try and make work our day out, so we end up in Hamilton if we're up north every night. Well, what about like uh, when you're dropping off your product and stuff like what? What is anything different going on there? Oh, like a lot of places now they do um, heat testing on you before you go through your gates. Oh yeah, is that when they point the gun to your head or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah temperature testing and a lot of them make you sign a. Uh, a, a form that, that says what you've been up to during the week and if you come into contact with anybody that's got the virus, which hopefully not. In the in the future and stuff like that, do you think everyone will be a bit more mindful when you're dropping off product, picking stuff up? And... Yeah, I think it's set a precedent day now because um, people will have to be a bit more careful, especially when we're trying to look after our country. And... Um, but yeah, yeah, things will change a little bit. Whether it's like mahi or Fano, what do you reckon like this South Isolation has taught you? Yeah, just be mindful of where I've been working and make sure I am uh, look after myself for when I come home because of my little mokko. She's only, what, well, eight months? And as soon as I get, get, as soon as I park up, the doors open straight to the bathroom and they say, go straight to the bathroom, have a shower, clean yourself right up first before you come in, into the living room or anything. Yeah, and I've seen... I don't need to touch my, my granddaughter for, for the first night. And I just played with her from about two, three metres away. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess that, what, that helps you to stay positive at home? Yeah, no, it's awesome. And a uh, good positive thing. A lot more baking. Way more baking. Way more, eh? I think, I think I'm getting fatter. <laughs> <laughs> the Cozzy's over in Fiji now, while her whanau over there. Um, like, when everything was going on lockdown, did she decide to go over there to be with her, or...? Yeah, yeah, the, the, uh, was it four days before the lockdown? Go and get her daughter. And then, yeah, by the time she got over there, because she knew she had to self-isolate for two weeks as soon as she got there. And then when, when she finished her self-isolation, it's because um, she was on Suva, and they had blocked one side of Suva off, all the bridges, and she was on the other side from where her daughter was. Oh, wow. So she sort of all day go see her and her husband until, uh, when was it, Wednesday? Friday. Friday, 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 they opened up both sides. So wow. she's been with them since Friday. Oh, so how long does she, oh, until it took to go and see her? Uh, three weeks. But they, they fly, um, I think they fly out Wednesday. And, uh, uh, yeah, the government's self isolating all the ones that are flying back in. So, yeah, and then do they just place them in like a house or? Some yeah, well, facility will make them. For another two weeks, and then, like, they can come back in. The f flight people, wherever they are, sent her um, flight fare back to her, and the government's paying for her to go home. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, so you're looking forward to yeah. that, eh? Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing my mum. Mm. Yeah. Well, what about you? Like, how, how, how do you reckon you will navigate your father's life after all this is over? Yeah, pretty much... Back to normal, I suppose. But yeah, just be more aware out there, that's all. Yeah. Well, four weeks in, it's nearly over, but it could be a bit more extended, I'm, I'm hearing. But have you got any, like, any encouraging words for everyone that might be watching? Just look after yourself. And, yeah, pretty much look after your family. Oh, no, all good, on. Thanks for um, jumping on with me. Keep safe on the roads and everything. And then when this is all over, I'll probably come down home and see you all again. You'll know when I'm home. Mm -hmm. Alright. Sweet. So long. See you. Later. Burn this up.